So, you know, I'm slowly getting my second man cave together. This is a different location than where I have my giant anime mural. And I just finished these two incredible pieces of art uh, that I had commissioned. These are one of ones of two of my favorite philosophers. Uh, so we're putting this game room together and I think this is gonna be cool. So there's a lot more art coming. I'll show you guys as soon as it's done. But we also got some new toys. Now, of course, new toys, if you're following my other channel, Watch Trading Academy, talking about the world's finest watches. But since this is Exotic Car Hacks, ready? Since this is exotic car hacks after all, it makes sense to talk cars. And today we are going to talk briefly about my brand new, that just came in, 992 Turbo S. Now, you may have noticed that I had a Turbo S Cabriolet on the channel before, and that was the car that I enjoyed and said was spectacularly good, except it was near perfect, except that it was ugly. So I decided to fix that with the coupe and instead I did something completely different here than the first time. The first time, if you noticed, the car was like gray, like it was like slate gray. It was a very pretty car, it, it, just really pretty in terms of the paint was beautiful, but it was a low option cabriolet. And as a result, it just didn't appeal to me design wise. So this time when we did the coupe, I decided, you know what? We're gonna do it up completely. That way we have a full contrast for what a low end cab was and a super loaded coupe. So this car is about $30,000 more as a coupe than the cab was because of the options it has. And it's pretty stunning as a car. First off, I did this a little bit different because I decided to do something more common that people love. I did chalk paint. So you'll notice chalk is a beautiful off-white slash gray, and it's quite pretty to begin with. Like it's a very loved color, so they typically do better for resale. And I've also added the design kit $15,000 option in gloss black to give it a very different look as well, which was my main complaint about the cap. But one thing you'll notice is that the design kit truly makes a difference on the car, but it makes an even bigger difference when it's black because it creates a very different look for the car, giving it almost like a body kit and open design at the bottom. And I really like that. So I decided, that that's exactly what I was gonna do. Something completely different. Instead of having this body color painted to give it that bug look, I decided to make it black to kind of make it blend a little bit, but still have that wit. And that looked spectacular. And it was really, really fantastic. And I was very happy with it, like incredibly happy with it. So as you follow the car, you know, this is completely stock, nothing has been done. We also did the lightweight package, which included the wheels, the carbon mirrors, the carbon roof, which I think is stunning and much better than a sunroof that'll never be used. And then the car continues with the back where you're going to have the design spoiler, which is a little bit different. Uh, again, with these extra little tweaks here, looks fantastic. And then the back sports exhaust model. You never want to do the non-sport exhaust. Then you get the quad really ugly looking tips and it's just ugly and it just doesn't work. So. You know, we've really done up the exterior as much as we could. And I think this contrast of black and chalk works really, really well. And then on the inside, you know, the outside of course has all the stuff like sports suspension, the Matrix headlights. I don't know if you guys ever seen these. I had this on the last one, but I'll point out, these are the Matrix, he Matrix headlights, which are fantastic. Absolutely beautiful with the four things and then the bottom like little rain thing going on. Spectacular. So nothing to say here. This is a must do. If you're gonna spec this, these are like must do options. Uh, and then on the inside, we did a couple of things that were pretty cool. We did everything in carbon, of course, the carbon steering wheel, the carbon seals, uh, the carbon in, in the center. Uh, and then we did the full leather package, which is a must. So you don't get any of the gummy and crappy stuff. We did contrast stitching uh, with the Bordeaux red interior. And of course, uh, the BM sound system for that best look. And we have the keyless entry. That's also a must too with these, uh, this easy access entry. It's really, really important to do. And then outside of that, of course, you have your heated and cooled seats because we're here in very warm uh, Florida. So it makes sense to do that. So, and then we have this little Porsche thing, the logo thing that comes up whenever you open the door. That's completely useless. 
I just forgot to take it off, like I really don't care. The illuminated door seals are nice, of course, but this is the latest arrival here. And one of the reasons we're not really gonna do much of a review on it, I mean, we'll, we'll do another video where we talk a little bit about the actual car itself. Do we enjoy driving it or not? How does it drive? But this car is going to get heavily modified. When I say heavily modified, let me rephrase. It is going to get modified in the best ways possible without overdoing it. We're going to do suspension to, of course, lower it. We have very special one-off wheels coming from 1880, 1886 forged wheels. So this is gonna look fantastic. And we're going to put exhaust. I haven't yet decided which exhaust and the manifolds and all that stuff. So it should sound incredible, but we're going to go away from tuning it. So I wanna keep it stock and usable in the sense of if I'm gonna go back for some warranty work or something, I don't wanna deal with it. I know many people that modify cars also don't wanna deal with constantly worrying if the warranty's back or going from stock tunes to not, check engine lights, which is why the modifications we're gonna do on this are gonna be very high dollar, but they're not necessarily gonna be overly extensive to change the dynamic of the car itself. So, you know, next time we'll go for a little drive and see how the coupe compares to the actual cabriolet as a car and discuss that, you know, more thoroughly. But I think that I just wanna introduce you guys to the new 992 Turbo S that has recently just arrived in my personal garage and she's going to be here to stay for quite a little bit of time because I think it's just, this one just hits for me really well compared to the slate gray that just didn't work on the cap. Like this one just works and I really, really like it. So I think it a lot, I've always said cars really have personality, so specs matter. And in this case, I think this is as good as it gets for a coupe minus some CCX options that we could have had on the inside if we wanted to go all the way out. But bottom line, this is a heavy loaded coupe and it's gonna be a lot of fun over the next couple of weeks as we play with it. All right, so if you wanna see more about what makes this car specifically hackable, why you can be actually looking at 992 Turbo S's as cars to actually drive for free, click the link in the description and learn what car hacking is. And of course, join Exotic Car Hacks, the second link in the description. But I'm telling you right now, right here, this is the best financial direction you can take if you want to play with cars without losing any money. And of course, don't forget, a lot of people are talking about recessions, a hard time coming ahead. Car pricing has started soaring again. So expect this year to be another wild roller coaster ride as it pertains to exotics and normal cars here in the United States. So click the link, learn more, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on notifications to get notified when we start doing more stuff to this. And I'll catch you next time for Exotic Car Hacks.